creative continuity. We bring the convention to you. Hi, I'm Mark Aronoff, and I'm here with Frank Cho. Uh, my Avengers run? Uh, God, that was about six years ago, so uh, it was fun. Uh, that was the, the whole Ultron storyline that Brian Bendis wrote. Mm -hmm. So I think some of that is going into the movie, I think. Yeah. Uh, so uh, actually, I have no idea. <laughs> Are you excited for the new Avengers Age of Ult Ultron? Yes, I am. Actually, I'm looking forward to it. And uh, you've seen the, the last Avengers? Yes. What'd you think of it? I loved it. Uh, up until Captain America 2 came out, it was my favorite Marvel movie. Captain America Winter Soldier was very good, wasn't it? Oh yeah, it, that's the new benchmark for uh, superhero movies. You did illustrated work for uh, Jeff, uh, Jeff Loeb's run on uh, certain work. Uh, it was the uh, new Ultimates, which is basically Ultimates Avengers. Uh, that was with the... Uh, the whole uh, Loki uh, and the uh, invading uh, Manhattan. So that was a fun one, too. You were doing uh, work on Savage Wolverine. You've done a lot of illustrating work. This one you wrote and illustrated. And how did that work out? Uh, it was great. I mean, uh, Wolverine was one of my favorite characters growing up. And when Axel uh, called me up to, uh, to do uh, write and draw Savage Wolverine, I jumped at the chance. Uh, so it was kind of like... Uh, it's kind of like everything I want to see in Wolverine. You know, it's, it's the Wolverine that I grew up with, you know, so where he was pretty much a like fun and action uh, superhero story. And uh, so you're a bit, you were a big fan of Wolverine and probably still are a big fan. Um, did you also like the X-Men instead of just Wolverine? Yeah, actually, I did like the X-Men until um, I got out of it when it started getting really confusing with all the multiple uh, time jumps and all that. Uh, but I was a huge uh, X-Men fan uh, in the 80s uh, when Paul Smith and Chris Claremont was doing it. The Savage Wolverine, is that part of the same continuity as the uh, Marvel Universe? Uh, not really. I mean, it was something that I think Savage Wolverine was built as uh, out of continuity storylines. So uh, that would give more uh, freedom for writers and artists to to do their uh, take on the character. Um, whether they're gonna revisit my storyline that I set up is up in the air, so I have no idea. The current story of the Wolverine, he apparently has three months to live and they're gonna kill him off, and does that have you know, any impact of the story that you've done and what it might come to? Nobody dies in comics, he'll be back. <laughs> Especially that the fact that he's Wolverine, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, it, it had no impact on the, the current storyline. It was just out of uh, continuity. So it was, uh, um, it, it's not in any way connected to the current storyline. And what, what is your opinion on all these comic books killing off their main characters and bringing in new characters to replace them and then just bringing back the main characters again? Do you think that's something they should keep doing uh, to spice things up or uh, maybe they should leave the characters killed off if they're going to kill them off in the first place? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of from the old school, like if someone dies, they should stay dead. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it seemed to be working, you know, so I really can't say anything about it, you know, because it's working. People still buy it, uh, you know. What was the inspiration of using Sean and the She-Devil for Wolverine? Uh, I want to draw a hot chick in the story. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are you currently working on right now? Uh, at Marvel, I'm working on uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, annual number one. Uh, that's coming out in August. And I'm working on uh, Drawing Beautiful Women, uh, uh, art instruction book at Flash Publication. And I have like five other creator-owned books that's going to be launched uh, end of this year and next year. I'm Mark Aronoff, and this has been Frank Cho, and this is Creative Continuity.